お前はもう死んでいる。Yo, what's going on, guys? So today's video is just simply I'm gonna be teaching you guys with all those low end or budget gaming PCs or laptops how to increase your FPS by like crazy. And sorry for my skin, it's, it's really ugly, but this is the skin I use when I play Pop PPP, so yeah, please don't judge. Alright, so yeah, let's get on with the video. So the first thing you gotta do when you wanna increase your FPS is first, obviously, you wanna actually you wanna、um, install. Either a client or you could install Optifine. So, what these two things do is they basically you get、uh, when you go to settings, you get more and you go to video settings, there's way more settings you could edit than when you don't have clients or Optifine. So, basically, you could just open, you could download Optifine or clients, and then you could like change up all these settings, which will increase your FPS by like crazy, alright? And by the way, if you use a laptop, you always want to have the charger cord plugged in, and that would increase your、uh, FPS boost by a lot too. So, yeah, I use PvP Lounge, it's a really nice client. I'll leave the.、Uh, actually, no, I won't leave the link in the comment. I made a separate video about which client is the best for FPS boost and like which has like a lot of mods and stuff. So, yeah, you could check out that video. I'll leave it in the link in the description. So, yeah, the clients will be in down in the description. And for Optifine, yeah, it's really easy. I'll just leave a link in the description to where you could download it. But you do need to make sure to download the correct version of Optifine. I use, I play on 1.8.9, that's what all PvP people will play on. So yeah, I'll put the link for the 1.8.9 Optifine in the comment below. So yeah, that's all cool too. So once you got、um, Optifine or clients installed, you want to go to the video settings and you want to change everything here. So this is where. All your、um, like FPS boost and stuff is gonna happen. So, first of all, we're gonna start off top left. So, we're gonna go down from graphics down and then to render distance and down. So, let's go ahead. So, graphics you wanna set to fast and then smooth lightning you wanna set to minimum and smooth lightning le lighting level you wanna set to 100%. GUI skill,、uh, I just set it as auto. You, you, it doesn't really matter what you set it to. For brightness, I put it on max, right? Dynamic lights off. Shaders, you don't want to use any. If you use shaders, that's going to decrease your FPS by like a shit ton. Details, I put everything on fast. Trees, fast sky, if you really want to increase FPS, put it off. But for some people who use texture packs, if you have like a effect or something on the sky, and if you put sky off, you're not going to be able to see those effects and stuff. So I just keep it on. But if you really want to increase FPS, just turn it off. Sun and moon. Also, this is another thing. If you have like, if your texture pack has like special effects when it's like when the sun's out or the moon's out, you keep it on, it'll show. But if you put it on, it'll not show. I mean, that, that's also preference if you want it on or off. But I keep it on just because I want the effects, you know. Fogs off.、Uh, no one wants fogs, so fogs off.、Uh, translucent blocks fast. Dropped items default. Swamp colors off. Vision net. I don't know what that is. Just set it as default. Cloud height off, rain and snow off. Rain and snow are way worse than sky, moon, skies, and sun stuff. Like, rain and snow affects your FPS like a shit ton, so make sure to turn that off. Stars off, show capes. Um, this doesn't really matter, but、um, j I just keep it on because I want to see people with capes, you know, it's cool. Fox start set as 0.2. Held items, two tips off. Entity shadows off, smooth biomes off. Alright, next let's go to、um, animations. Everything is off on my animations except for、uh, firework particles and like some, some other particles because some game modes ca、um, cause you to like put particles on. But usually when you need the particles on, they'll tell you to put the particles on. So yeah, I just leave mostly everything off. Yeah, you can just press all off, it doesn't really matter. Next, render distance, I set it as 8. I mean, you could, if you have a really low end, low end PC, you could set it to 6 or 4 even. 4 is the lowest, I think. You, you shouldn't put it any lower than 4. I keep it at 8 though. Normal. Max frame rate, um, well, after、uh, I talk about all these settings,、um, put it as unlimited at first and then see how high it could go. And then set it to, set it to like the,、um, the highest like, FPS it went to. 
I set it to 160, that's around like the highest my computer goes to, so yeah. View bobbing off, use BBOs off, alternate alternate blocks um, on, I mean you can just set it off, but I just keep it on. I mean actually you should probably keep it off. Alright, dynamic, FOV off, quality, minimap levels 4, uh, you can just keep that as regular. Anistro Anisotropic filtering, I don't know what that is, off, clear water off, better graphs off, Ca custom fonts, uh, you could set this as off, but if you don't have this on on some game modes and stuff, like you won't be able to see like custom fonts, so I keep it on. Uh, connected textures fast, custom sky on, custom GUIs on. Yeah, just you could turn these off if you want, but honestly, uh, they won't make such a big difference in FPS. And I want custom skies and custom GUIs on, so I just keep it on. When you put turn off custom GUIs on, it'll put the GUI as default, and you won't, and like it won't change it depending on like the texture packs. So yeah, I just keep these two on. Minimap type nearest anti-aliasing off. Dude, if you turn this thing on, it's gonna decrease your FPS like crazy, right? Random mobs. Um, this is also another thing you could turn these off. If you turn it off, it'll probably be better for your FPS. But I just keep it on because for some game modes you want random mobs on. Better snow off. Custom colors on. It's your choice if you want it on or off. I just I just keep it on because I want custom colors on. Natural textures off and custom items on. Alright, for performance, smooth FPS off. Now, this keeps your FPS at like a smooth, like steady rate, so it doesn't jump from like 90 to 120 or something. But by doing this, it keeps it like at the average frame rate your computer gets. So even if your computer can reach up to like 100, if the, if you like, it keeps it at like 70 as average. But I don't really like that, so I turn it off. Fast render off, chunk updates one, lazy chunk loading off, smooth world off, fast math off, dynamic dynamic updates off. Most of the settings you just turn off or keep it on fast settings. Yeah, that's what I do. Lagometer off, show FPS off. So for FPS, you don't need it on because your client is, you could just, um, clients come with a lot of mods, so you could just turn the FPS on. So yeah, weather off, full screen on. You always want full screen on. Full screen gives you the most FPS, so 3D anaglyph off. Debug profiler off. Auto save. Yeah, auto save is really annoying. So you want to keep it at 30 minutes. Uh, time default. Um, time just default. Full screen mode. Just whatever your full screen is. And yeah, that's it. And when you press reset video settings, it's gonna reset all your settings. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's it for my settings. And now uh, I'm gonna be talking about my uh, my uh, mod settings, my client settings. Now. It's if you got PvP lines, these will help you, but I'm um, just going to be talking about like some of the settings that most all the clients have. So I put all, these are my settings, all the GG off, all the text off, everything off. Block overlay, you don't really need this on. Uh, it, it'd probably be better if you keep this off. Yeah, um, FPS enabled, hitbox, uh, you should probably put this off if you want higher FPS. Uh, level head on, keystrokes, you probably should put this off if you want higher CDF. Everything else is mostly off. Ping, uh, I just have it there just in case, like, I want to know when I have bad internet or good internet, so yeah. Potion effects, uh, potion effects, it just tells you, like, whoops, potions are in effect, like, you can see, you can see, like, I have speed one right now under my CPS scanner. And then scoreboard, it's like the things on the right, you can see here where it says duels and stuff. Uh, I just leave it on, because why, why wouldn't you want a scoreboard? And then toggle sprint, I have on. So yeah, those are my settings for higher FPS. So yeah, ye. So if you so if you thought this video was helpful and fun, just make sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you have further um, videos you want me to make or suggestions for content, just leave it in the comments and I'll gladly respond. So thank you guys for watching and peace.